Hello all, welcome back to our favorite OV and data channel. We have seen about some machine learning algorithm in our previous videos. Now we will continue with the mathematics of support vector machine SVM algorithm. Let us get into the video. Now we are going to see what is SVM support vector machine. Before getting deep into the SVM let us see what is vectors and what is its dot product. So vectors. Let us consider we have two points O and A. Okay. If these both points are connected by an arrow then it is a vector. O A is a vector. The length between O and A is its magnitude. Assume that A is in 2 comma 3. So the vector starts from O and goes to A. This is the direction. And the length between O and A is its magnitude. So 2 comma 3 is a point A from the origin. So the length between O and A is its magnitude and direction of A from the origin is its direction okay now we have to find the length of the vector so consider we have three points three points are between O and A so what will be the formula to find the length of the vector it is simple the length of the vector is equal to the square root of sum of square of the points that is square root of x1 square plus x2 square plus x3 square now we will get some value this value will be the length of the vector Now we found the length. So how to find the direction? We have to find the direction of the vector. So the direction of the vector is equal to 8 individual points divided by the length of the vector. So that is x1 divided by length of the vector, x2 divided by the length of the vector and x3 divided by the length of the vector. So this is the direction of the vector. So now we have to find a dot product. Let us consider we have two vectors. One is u and other one is v. So the dot product between u and v. u dot v is equal to length of u length of v cos theta. Okay. So where does this cos theta come from? It is the angle between those two vectors u and v. So shown in this graph. So u and v both starts from the origin. So the angle between this u and v we will get one angle. This angle is that theta. Okay. So the angle between the u vector and v vector is theta. So the dot product between u and v is length of u vector, length of v vector and cos theta. Okay. So next we will see what is linearly separable. Next we will see what is linearly separable and non-linearly separable. Let us look on this uh, graph. Now we draw a graph. we have two set of data one is this and another set of data is this so we draw a line to distinguish them so now it can be separated with a linear line then this type of data is called as linearly separable 
okay we have again another set of data which is not similar to the previous one like uh, the one set of data is surrounded by another set of data so now this type of data cannot be separated with any number of lines so uh, if we draw a line like this or like this we cannot separate it if you see the previous uh, graph it is possible like uh, if we have another one data we can separate it with another one line but in the second diagram it is not possible so this type of data we call it as non-linear separable so how to handle this data so for this type of data we are going for three dimensional okay we are going for three dimensional space so here what we will be doing is we have data like this it will be formed in this manner so now we set a plane which will separate the data so here we use a concept called as kernel so we have to check if the data comes under linear separable or non linearly separable according to which we can move to the next step okay so now the equation of a linear line is y equal to ax plus b so which can also be written as ax plus b minus y equal to 0 okay if there is a point x then it will have two values that is x comma y and we have another one point w so the values of it will be a comma minus 1 so if we substitute these value in the previous equation we will get w dot x plus b equal to 0 so this equation will be the equation of center of the hyperplane in this diagram okay so we will have two hyperplane this hyperplane will be at center we will have two hyperplane h1 and h2 on the side of main hyperplane so this one is h1 and this is h2 so the equation of this h1 and h2 will be h1 is equal to w dot product of x plus b equal to minus 1 it is minus 1 because all the support vectors for h1 is in the class of minus 1 okay similarly for h2 w dot product of x plus b equal to 1 so h1 and h2 are the margins okay so h1 and h2 are also hyperplane the distance between h1 and h2 is a margin So to find this margin, margin is equal to h2 minus h1. So if we try to find the margin, we will get 2 divided by w. Okay, the margin will be 2 by w. If this margin is big, then the difference from our hyperplane will be large. If the margin is large, then the performance of our SVM will be good. So we will have large differentiation. So if, if this margin is very big, it will be very useful for us for clustering and classification. We can easily distinguish the data. So if the margin is large, distinguishing the data will be easier for us this is what support vector machine is 
so we have seen the mathematical part of the support vector machine so to come once again we have seen what is svm the mathematics behind support vector machine and formation of hyperplane so in our next video uh, we will see the hands on part of this support vector machine okay until then it is bye from our favorite v and data channel